Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and you're watching Ram's Bottom Safety Valve being designed in the Part Design Generator Shape Design Workbench. So finally for the assembly, the assembly design workbench was used. So as you can see here under the specification tree, all these are the parts which was uh, being used for the assembly. So uh, this, the main intent of this tutorial is to give the uh, users, the intermediate users, the idea about uh, how you can design and assemble the uh, uh, the model of Rams Bottom Safety Valve. So as I uh, do the walkthrough for this uh, uh, particular model, I'm going to rotate the uh, object all around so that the user who's having the uh, uh, you know uh, the drawings, if if at all they are not capable of uh, reading the 3D drawing, they are going to uh, you know see this video and they are going to read the drawing easily. So. <coughs> Uh, basically the parts are uh, as you can see is the body and this is a separate part the valve seat and again over here there's another part the valve and after that as you can I'll come a little bit closer and you can see over here the pivot is there so pivot is uh, actually coming I'll hide this so pivot is going to come till here and uh, again over here you have a spring so the spring was uh, completely designed in the generator shape design workbench so a combination of uh, helix and uh, a few more commands was used to complete the uh, spring and uh, here we have another object that is a shackle so the shackle is the one which uh, connects the body and the uh, uh, spring right here and uh, again you have the liver over here so I've made the liver a little bit transparent so that uh, you know when you do the rendering you can see the other side also a little bit so <coughs> so here uh, this part uh, it depends uh, up to you in which workbench you want to design so I have used the generator shape design workbench because uh, it's a little bit more comfortable for me and you can see here there is a small item over here this is called as a split pin so what the split pin does is uh, it holds the uh, you know both the lever and the pivot over here and it tightens the uh, pin so there are a total of uh, three split pins so one is over here and uh, another one is uh, on the back so it depends uh, you can keep it on the front also the main intention is to lock the uh, bodies so <coughs> and again you have a circular pattern hole over here and uh, so basically this is how the design goes and uh, I have uh, you know almost gone through all the parts which was used for the uh, design of this particular assembly so you have to design it one by one and uh, come up with the assembly so it's not so difficult so as you have seen the video you might have uh, got an idea how it looks like from all the uh, all these sides so I'm going to swap uh, from the front view side view and top view and all the views so that uh, you're going to have a little bit more idea a proper idea of how it looks like from all the different views so this is how it looks like from the front view and uh, this is how it looks like from the right side view and uh, this is how it looks like from the top view so this is a small walkthrough uh, which is going to help you the intermediate users to design and assemble the uh, rounds volume safety valve in kitty v5 so i hope you enjoyed my video and uh, if you have any doubts clarifications if you want tutorials you can ask me so if at all anyone uh, needs tutorial about uh, any particular topic and if at all they need it from the uh, scratch i'm going to upload according to your requirements so i hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching stay tuned